Oh my god everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be learning a lot, but before we continue with the video as it's very useful for the channel to grow, if you hit that like button, you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. So without further ado guys, let's begin. Oh my god. Welcome back everyone. So today's video is going to be finding segment lengths using formulas and it being applied to some problems. So let's begin. Let's try it. So let's say we had the line right here with points W, X and Y whose coordinates are minus 4, minus 2 and 5. Let's say they ask us to find the length of the segment WX and WY. How do we do it? The first thing we have to do is that whenever we, find, we want to find the length of a segment, we're basically going to use a very simple formula, which is going to be the absolute value of the coordinate of for example, in this case, x minus the coordinates of w. So basically, we're going to be subtracting the coordinates of the two points we want to find this the length of, and then we're just going to take the absolute value out of that. So for example, if we want to know what is going to be the length, what we do is that we take the absolute value of x, which is minus 2, the coordinate of x is minus 2, minus the coordinate of w, which is minus 4, and that is going to be minus 2, then minus times minus is positive, and then that is going to be the absolute value of 2, which is 2. Note that because we have an absolute value, you know that the length of a segment is always going to be a positive number. It doesn't matter if it's an integer or if it's a decimal, but it's always going to be positive. So please remember that. Let's try calculating the length of the segment WY. We do the same thing. So with a, the coordinate of Y, which is 5, and we're going to subtract the coordinate of w, which is minus 4. Then that's going to be the absolute value of 5. And then the multiplication of two negatives is going to be positive, 4. And that is going to be 9. You can actually verify that in this case because you just count the amount of steps. So here you count two steps, meaning that it's going to be the length of, of two units. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 9 units for WY. So when you have simple numbers, you can actually just count the steps. Otherwise, you use the formula. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just remember, you have to, in order to find the length of a segment, first of all, it's always going to be a positive um, amount, a positive quantity. You just have to subtract the coordinates of the two points of the segment and that's pretty much it. Just find the two points of the segment you want to find the length of, then you just subtract and don't forget to take the absolute value. And if they are integers or simple numbers, you can actually just count the steps like we did in this example. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. So see you on the next one. Bye. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!